Sometimes giving new life or a new spin to an old movie can be a breath of fresh air. Other times, it's just a waste of oxygen. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today, we're counting down our picks for the top 10 upcoming reboots and remakes no one wants. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we're looking at movies that are slated for an English language remake or reboot and have been listed on IMDb.com with at least a pre-production status as of early 2018. Projects that are on hold or stalled are still eligible, but those with confirmed cancellation are not. Note that the status of these projects are subject to change in the future, but we'll try to go with the most up-to-date information available at this time. Number 10. Drop Dead Fred Targeted to children and families, this British-American production didn't actually appeal to all ages, thanks to its more grown-up themes and dark comedy elements. Drop Dead Fred follows a young woman who sees the return of the chaotic imaginary friend from her childhood during a particularly trying time in her adult life. What's the matter? I really thought that Charles wanted me back. <laughs> the film returned to public attention when Universal spoke of remaking it, with Russell Brand in the titular role in 2009, and it made the social media rounds following actor Rick Mayle's 2014 death. <laughs> But with 9% on Rotten Tomatoes, Gene Siskel calling it 1991's worst film, and a storyline that includes emotional abuse, we'd just rather this potential reboot drop dead. Bye, Charles. Oh, I forgot to give you something. Number 9, Cliffhanger. This is not a film for the faint of heart, or those with acrophobia. The original was an action-packed Sylvester Stallone fest with many daring aerial shots and edge-of-your-seat stunts that had audiences buzzing. The rumors of a reboot with producer Neil H. Moritz of the Total Recall and 21 Jump Street remakes producing began circulating in 2009. Keep your arms and legs in the vehicle! Hello? But given the original is considered one of Sly's best films and that it had visuals that have held up surprisingly well over the years, this leaves us wondering if the reboot won't just be hung out to dry. I guess I'm just falling apart. <laughs> Number 8. Dirty Rotten Scoundrels If it worked the first time, why not do it again, right? No. Given that this Steve Martin, Michael Caine-led comedy, itself a remake of 1964's Bedtime Stories, won over audiences, a redo could be welcomed, right? Well, Hollywood may only be conning themselves with this idea. The Nasty Women titled remake will have Anne Hathaway and Rebel Wilson in the starring roles and is set for an August 2018 release. While there is nothing wrong with giving a girl-powered revision to a great film, and both women have been known to deliver laughs, one has to worry if this new movie won't turn out to be snake oil. You won't let me down! No, I won't let you down! Number 7. An American Werewolf in London It seems almost every iconic horror movie is up for remake grabs, and to be fair, they haven't always been a disaster. <laughs> When a movie is as iconic and innovative as this one, however, the idea of a remake makes us want to howl at the moon in protest. Jesus Christ! With its eerie atmosphere, groundbreaking effects, and talented cast, there is doubt that a reboot would ever do the original justice. Though 2016 news that director John Landis' son is set to take the reins does give us a small bit of hope. Said to be a modernization of this early 80s creature feature, one has to wonder if CGI will end up shooting a silver bullet into the transformation scene that still remains one of the most iconic shots in horror cinema. Number 6. Commando Of course, at some point you had to expect an Arnie movie to show up on a list of reboots and remakes. They're practically an industry onto itself. Commando, an 80s borderline cheese fest about a retired Delta Force colonel trying to get back his kidnapped daughter, is rumored to be getting the remake treatment. Really? While a Russian remake was produced in 2008, we're specifically referring to talk about a potential Hollywood update that's been making the round since 2010. With all of the early 21st century films about kidnappers getting their due after a parent fights back against their demands, one does have to wonder what a remake of this action flick might possibly have to offer that hasn't been done before, and again, and again. Let off some steam, Bennett. Number 5. Splash When it comes to movie do-overs, there certainly seems to be an ocean of possibilities, and romantic comedies are certainly fair game. Case in point, Splash is reportedly slated for a redo, albeit with a gender flip. This time, Channing Tatum is set as the merman, who finds himself as a fish out of water after falling for a human. As a moderately amusing film, the original is often cited as a soft spot for those fond of Hanks. As such, it's hard to imagine Tatum as a wide-eyed naive innocent, or adding anything to the role played so well by Daryl Hannah. Just leave alone! Number 4. Ace Ventura Pet Detective Let's start by saying this isn't a bad movie, and it isn't a great movie, but it's a movie that works because of Jim Carrey. Ah! 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 
which is kind of the point when it comes to why this remake is unneeded and unwanted, as Carrie and his animated expressions are pretty much synonymous with the character. Captain's log, start a 23.9, round it off to the nearest decimal point. We've traveled back in time to save an ancient species from total annihilation. While Morgan Creek Entertainment Group has said that they plan to make a movie that is more in the spirit of Ace Ventura than an actual remake, hoping it might lead to a series franchise, we have some serious doubts that it will live up to their expectations, or the original film. I'm ready to go in, coach. Just give me a chance. Number three, Memento. Although it seems odd calling something written and directed by Christopher Nolan an indie film, this is what this turn of the millennium thriller was. It was also one of his earliest directorial projects, the story of a man with an inability to build new memories, trying desperately to solve his wife's murder, told both forward and in reverse. It's the film that built the Nolan name and introduced his style to the masses, except he doesn't seem to be involved with the potential remake, which is instead a cash grab daydream of its new rights holder, AMBI Pictures, who want to remake it due to the original's popularity. How did you get me into this? Number two, The Birds. Whenever you hear about the possible remake of a Hitchcock film, it's impossible not to think of Gus Van Sant's version of Psycho. <laughs> but when you add to the rumor the idea that Michael Bay will produce, the conversation becomes unsettling. <laughs> While he may be a master of explosive action, he's not a director known for slow-burning suspense. The Birds is one of Hitchcock's best-known masterpieces. It has managed to build tension through subtle imagery and succeeded in making birds as scary as sharks or snakes. There seems little that could be gained from redoing this film, and so, so little need for it. And yet, in mid-2017, the BBC announced a TV adaptation set for 2018, with updates about the Bay version, announced back in 2014, being scarce. <laughs> Before we reveal our number one pick, here are some honorable, or rather, dishonorable mentions. Oh my. <laughs> that was great. Number one, Scarface. This is another case of planning to remake a film that is already itself a remake. Don't f with me! However, the 1983 remake that so many love did so well that it's still considered one of the greatest gangster films of all time. It is an iconic film, often quoted, often parodied, and forever equated with Al Pacino's amazing and amazingly over-the-top performance. Who put this thing together? Me! It's hard to imagine anyone else in the role of Tony Montana or more perfectly shot cinematography. So in this case, we'd like to say goodbye to our little friend, the remake, even if the Coen brothers are attached as of February 2017. Do you agree with